Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Robin. If you're new, welcome. I'm a manifestation coach. I help people transform all aspects of their life. Click down below in the description box. I have a free training on manifesting wealth. I tell you why you want to manifest wealth instead of money. And I also give you my personal affirmations for manifesting wealth. Click that link down below and go and check it out. It's about 25 minutes long. It's worth the watch. All right, let's get started. Today's video is going to be on the bridge of incidents. So I have here a representation. This is from the parallel reality video. I will link three videos here. First one is going to be on self-concept. The second is going to be on vibration. And that the third is the jumping to a parallel reality because all three of those will explain what I'm talking about in this video here. So all three of those are important. So the first step that occurs in the manifestation process is that you have a self-concept and a state of being. And from that place, you get a thought. Now, you could be in a lack state and think a thought of having something that you desire. You could be in a love state, it doesn't matter. The vibration that you're in but you you are in a state of consciousness at all times and you have a self-concept at all times based on those two things puts you in a vibrational field where you attract thoughts from the quantum field you are never the thinker you've never been the thinker of the thought here in 3d reality you have never thought an original thought, ever, ever. Your self-concept and your, your consciousness, your state of being, puts you into a field, an energetic field, where you attract thoughts. Check my work. Go look at quantum physics. Go talk to Dr. Joe Dispenza. Um, this is not anything new. You are not the thinker of the thought. You are the attractor of the thought. The law of attraction is here. Here's where it begins. You, are, you have a belief about yourself, your self-concept, and a state of being, and therefore you attract thoughts based on that vibration. You're never the thinker. You've never thought an original thought before in your entire lifetime. You're channeling. We're always channeling. We're always channeling from the quantum field. Okay? You're channeling a thought that you attracted based on your state of being. You are the receiver of the thought. In the moment that you receive the thought, it is created. It is already done. It's the realization that it is already done. It is created. Manifestation is instantaneous. The fact that you thought the thought means that it's been created or was created in the quantum field, in the vortex, in the space of variations, whatever you call out there, okay? As soon as you think the thought or attract the thought, it is created, it is done. Creation is done. Your manifestation, done. It's done. Now, what happens between the time that you get the thought and you realize this is the thing that I, I desire, and then you realize that it's here in physical 3D reality, that's you shifting to a parallel a parallel reality where it, it exists that you have it in that reality the space between those those two things from the thought to the physical 3d manifestation is called the bridge of incidents the law of assumption directs your thoughts and actions about the preferred state the end state so the law of assumption drives you to the end state based on your self-concept and your state of being. Again, self-concept and state of being are the big drivers here, the big key. Yes, vibration is important in manifestation. Don't let anybody tell you that it isn't because it is. At this point, at this point, your higher self takes over this and leads you through the path of least resistance 
to the end result. All the bridge of incidents is, there is a series of, you see these green, there's green dots and then there's like a red, a red line connecting them. All of these dots you think are the things or the actions that need to occur in order for, for, for you to get from the current state to the new state. That's what all of these thoughts. Our human brain thinks, thinks that it needs to take all of these steps, that all of these actions need to occur in order to get me from point A to point B, but that's not true. Your inner being, your higher self is sitting up on top of the mountain and is looking over all of these incidents and saying, oh, I know the fastest way from point A to point B. You have free will to judge how you're going to feel about the circumstances. You have free will in that. You can decide to follow your higher self or you could decide to go on a little rabbit chase here and make yourself really frustrated and get annoyed and take a really long time to get from point A to point B. You could give up control and you could allow your inner being to lead you through the path of least resistance on the bridge of incidents to get from point A to point B. Let me just explain though, the, the moving of you from point A to point B. So going from your current state where let's say you're looking, you, you want a specific person. You're broken up, they have a third party, they don't like you, they're ignoring you, blah, 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 that old story to being together and it's easy, we're in love, it's secure, it's amazing, you know, that story. This, the bridge, all the bridge is a series of events that need to occur in order to shift your perspective so that you remember that you already created this. You already created this. You wouldn't be able to think the thought if it wasn't already created. And the fact that you thought the thought means that it's already manifested. It's in the vortex, it's in the quantum field, it's in the space of variations, it exists. You're just remembering that it exists. This bridge of incidents is helping you remember fully that this already exists. Point B already exists. You just need to shift into that parallel reality. In terms though of free will, you can do nothing at this point but let go of control and allow your higher self or your inner being to lead you through the path of least resistance. They say that there's divine timing. I know a lot of people have, um, you know, their own interpretations of this. Divine timing is shifting is the amount of time that it takes for you to shift from here, from point A to point B. That's it, it's divine timing. It can be as long as you make it out to be or as short. If you let go of control and you let go, just let it, let it flow, let it happen, let it go, it's gonna be easy peasy. If you have fun with it, if you get into the end result, like get into that end state, as if it's already occurred, have confidence in yourself, it's going to go as fast as it can. And I explained time a little bit in jumping to parallel, par parallel realities. So I suggest you go back and look at that. I'm not gonna get into all of that here. Now, what slows you down on the bridge of incidents is doubt. And Neville talks about doubt, uh, actually a couple thinkers actually talk about doubt is the devil. The devil is doubt. Doubting that you created this is the devil. It is the opposite of being God. The devil is the opposite of God, the creator. Everything is created. Everything is perfect. It's already here. It's already done. The devil is the opposite of that, which is doubt. Oh, I don't, I don't know. My person's not here. Why isn't he calling? Why isn't he texting? Why isn't she answering my calls? Why doesn't she want to go out with me? The devil is doubting. 
So the opposite of the devil is believing 100% in my manifestation capabilities. I am God. I created everything. It is done. I had the thought that means it's done. It instantly manifested because I had the thought. That's it. It's already done. Like people, people in all of the manifestation communities get like tripped up over this. Your manifestation is instant. The moment that you receive the thought, the moment you receive the thought, it's already done. You just got to line up to it. You got to remember that it was already created. You need to shift your perspective. That's all the bridge of incidents does is it shifts you around looking at the situation from all these different perspectives and finally accepting that it's already occurred. Finally realizing ah, it already occurred. Once that shift occurs, that's when your manifestation just pops off for you. So the devil, which is doubt, slows this process down, slows down time. I have here time flies when, you ha when you're having fun. When you're following your joy, doubt slows time down. It slows down the bridge of incidents, the number of steps that you need to take in order for you to, to realize that your manifestation is already created. It's already done. It's already done. You had the thought. The fact that you had the thought means that it's already done. It's already created. You wouldn't have been able to receive the thought if you hadn't, if it hadn't already been created. Period. You want to have confidence in your manifestation. This goes back to your self-concept. If your self-concept, your, self you don't have confidence, you need to develop confidence. You need to have affirmations surrounding confidence. I am God. I'm confident in my manifestations. I'm confident in the bridge of incidents. I'm confident that I'm shifting to parallel realities all of the time. I'm confident. I'm confident. Confident in myself. I'm co confident in my creation abilities. You need to do affirmations around how confident you are in your manifestation. I'm the most powerful manifester on the planet. I, everything I desire manifests, okay? You want to develop your confidence and your self-concept because that's where, that's where devil, the devil or doubt is going to creep in. It's going to creep in due to your lower state of consciousness and your low self-concept. That's where dolt, because some people do not have a problem attracting in a partner. Some people do not have a problem manifesting money like this, like this, like this, manifesting wealth. Some people don't have a problem getting promotions, getting this, getting that. Some people don't have problems with their health. Some people attract health and wellness. Some people attract amazing bodies because of their self-concept and their state of being. They're managing those things. They may not be good in other things that they need to work on. So I talk about this book a lot in my videos. It's Power Versus Force by Dr. David R. Hawkins. Um, power versus force. Again, watch the vibration video because I talk you through when you're in victim mentality, when you're in a lack state of conscious, a state of being that is lack or victim mentality. That's where doubt keeps coming in, and that's where you, we, we get manipulative, and we try to manipulate things to happen sooner than they can. We try to, we have temper tantrums to try to get the person to call us. We reach out with some random stupid thing just to get a response from them. We drive by their house. We're posting on social media just to try to get a reaction from them. These are things, actions that we're doing from lower states of consciousness because we do not trust ourselves, because we doubt our creative abilities, because we doubt our creation. We doubt that we are God. We doubt that we are God and powerful. Therefore, we allow our lower manipulative behaviors to come out. We all do. We all have this to try to move things along faster. All those things do is keep sending you back. The devil, the doubt, the manipulation, the forcing of getting the thing that you desire, 
all that does is sets you back and it takes more time. It's just delaying the amount of time or space between point A and point B. Power versus Force, it's a great book to read. Check that out. You want to move into a state of power where I feel like a powerful being. I know that everything that I've created, it's already done. I don't need to worry about it. I just need to follow my joy. I trust that my inner being is leading me in the right direction. I trust that they're going to find the easiest way from me for me to get to point from point A to point B. I trust that my inner being is leading me in the direction of my wish fulfilled. I trust that it's all happening. I know that it's happening because I see evidence. I see evidence that my inner being has led me to the coolest things and, and my dreams are manifesting. I have evidence to support that that is happening. So I am going to trust. So I am going to yield to the being within me. I'm going to trust that the being within me knows the path of least resistance, knows how to get me from point A to point B. I'm gonna sit in my power. I'm not gonna go into lack. I'm not gonna try to force things. I'm actually gonna go over and do some other things. I'm gonna like work on some other things that I wanna take care of, have fun, read some books, maybe catch up on some Netflix, while my inner being is leading me in the direction that I need to go in to get from point A to point B. You want to construct a scene. And I talked about this in Acting As If or Living in the End. You want to con construct an end scene of where you're with this person or you have the job or you have the thing that you desire afterwards, right? You don't want... If you're trying, if you want to get married, you know, a scene that would occur after the wish fulfilled, okay? So if you want to get married, you would want to imagine your honeymoon or an anniversary. If you want to move in, move in together with a specific person, you want to imagine having a holiday, celebrating a holiday with the person in that home. Um, or an anniversary or whatever. Like you want to picture it further into the future because that then sets everything in motion. You don't have to worry about all of the little details. That's going to set everything in motion and bring you from point A to the finished product the fastest way possible. You're not going to have to worry about the little details in between. Right? If, if I'm... Let's say I'm manifesting getting married and I don't even have a partner. It's with the assumption that I'm going to have a partner when I'm getting married. It's with the assumption that he's going to meet all of the things that I desire in a partner. It's with the assumption that we get along really well, that I want to marry them and they want to marry me. That's already assumed in the end, in the end result. So I would imagine a honeymoon or an anniversary, right? It's assuming that all of those things have already occurred or will occur, depending on when I pop into the timeline. Whole nother video. So you want to construct the end scene. In Reality Transferring, they talk about slides. Your end slide is already having the wish fulfilled. What does that look like? How does it feel? What are you wearing? What are you doing? Um, definitely focus on the, that feeling. How would it feel to be with the love of your life? If you're separated right now, how would it feel to be reunited with them, to be together, to be together for a year, to be celebrating a year um, anniversary with them? That is the scene that you want to focus on. Those are the feelings that you want to focus on because that is going to assume that everything in between has already occurred. The ma they've already contacted you, you made up, you forgave each other, everything is great, everything is working out for you guys, and you're happy and you're healthy and there's no more breakups, everything is great, okay? That's assuming that that's already happening because your end scene is, let's say, you're celebrating your anniversary. 
So then you don't have to go or go in and mess around with the middle. You can allow your inner being or your higher state of consciousness, whatever you believe in, you can allow the being within you that knows the fastest way to just lead you and take charge. You could sit back and be confident that it's already done. Again, I want to impress the fact that it has to be done if you had the thought. If you have the thought, it's already manifested, it's already done, it's already been created. There's no heavy lifting for you to do. You don't need to do any heavy lifting. You could allow your inner being to just guide you in the direction that you need to go in and just relax. Chill the F out. All right, guys. Hope this video helps. Good luck. Do me a favor. If you like this video, click that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video.